Hello everyone. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to use the fill page feature in Silhouette Studio. Um, I'm using the desi designer edition but it's the same in both versions. And the fill page option is something new that um, they put into the software recently. I want to say maybe two releases ago. So some people um, have asked where is it or is there an option for it and there is. So I'm going to show you using these two little Christmas ornaments. Um, I'm unfortunately out of tags for my Christmas gifts but I don't have time to make you know some really cute ones so I'm just going to use these generic tag ornaments I found with some glitter paper that's white on the back so I can write my to and from. But anyways I'm going to go ahead and get started. I've already selected my image. I'm going to highlight the entire thing because it has you know little cute layers I could cut out but I don't need them. So I'm going to select the whole thing, right click and hit ungroup. And now I'm going to go back and I'm going to delete all the top layering pieces. And I could use both of these ornaments but I'm actually just going to use this larger one because I think it's going to be easier to write on. So I'm going to delete that uh, long one. And I chose this one because it actually matches our wrapping paper. Our wrapping paper has um, is like metallic and has some vintage ornaments on it. But anyways, I have my ornament selected. And I'm going to go up to the replicate window. That's where the fill page option is. So I'm going to go to replicate. And at the bottom, it says fill page. Now, you have to make sure you have whatever you want to fill the page with selected. Because I clicked off on purpose, so there's no box anymore. But if I hit fill page, nothing's going to happen. You can see nothing's happening on my screen. You have to select it and then click fill page. And it's going to replicate them however it sees fit. Now, I will say that if you are trying to make the most out of your paper, this is probably not the best option. Um, it probably, probably would be better if you just went and did it manually. And the reason why is because it's drawing... Um, each shape kind of based off of the box and then a little bit of room for error. So if you look, there's a large amount of space in here and you actually could fit an entire another ornament here. And I'm going to show you what I mean. I'm going to go up to my replicate window again. And I'm going to just put duplicate above so you can see that an entire, an entire other shape would fit right there. So... Uh, I'll just keep duplicating left so you can see what I mean. When I finished filling in the holes, it ended up putting, what, 12, 18? So I believe there are 18 ornaments here total. Let me count, actually. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Yeah, so there's 18 ornaments on here total if I go back and I manually fill in the holes. Like I said, this is it's there if you want to use it. There is a fill page option, but it doesn't always save you paper. Um, I encountered the same problem back when I used to own my Cricut. It didn't always fill the page to the best of its abilities. But um, anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching.